welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about metabolic fatigue and recovery. We will help you understand what causes a muscle to fatigue, what it takes for the body to recover, and what VO2 max and OBLA can tell us about performance. Let's get started. Performance can be affected by various factors, such as how quickly you fatigue or how fast you can recover. Muscle fatigue is a reduction in performance and an inability to maintain expected levels of power and endurance. Levels of performance can still occur despite high fatigue, such as stumbling over a finish line or completing that last rep in the gym. Muscle fatigue can occur due to many factors. Depletion of energy stores, such as running out of PC or glycogen. Metabolic waste product accumulation, such as an inability to deal with lactic acid and carbon dioxide buildup. And hydration levels. Fluid loss decreases blood plasma levels, which reduces blood pressure and blood flow. The heart then has to work harder to maintain the transport of key nutrients to the muscles. Recovery is the process that looks at returning the body to its pre-exercise state. Four processes need to happen for a fatigued muscle to get working at full capacity again. A muscle must replace muscle ATP and PC stores, which only takes a couple of minutes. Replenish myoglobin with oxygen, which can take up to five minutes. Remove lactic acid and buffer the hydrogen ions, which can take up to an hour. And refill muscle and liver glycogen stores, which completely depends on nutrition. Heart rate and breathing rate remain above resting levels after exercise to keep taking in oxygen for the recovery process. This is known as excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, or EPOC. An oxygen deficit is created by the difference between oxygen required during exercise and the actual amount of oxygen consumed during the activity. EPOC can be split up into two stages. Fast replenishment stage, or a lactacid, and slow replenishment stage, or lactacid. The ability to consume oxygen will impact on your fatigue and recovery. VO2 max is the maximum volume of oxygen that you can uptake and utilize in one minute per kilogram of weight. The more oxygen that can be brought in and used, the longer the body can go without levels of fatigue kicking in. Untrained individuals can work at about 55 to 60% of their VO2 max without fatiguing. Some elite athletes, such as Mo Farah, have been measured to have a VO2 max of up to 88.6%. Your VO2 max can be affected by genetics, age, lifestyle, for example, smoking lowers your VO2 max, gender, which primarily is higher in males, training volume, and body composition. OBLA, or onset of blood lactate accumulation, is the exercise intensity at which lactate starts to accumulate in the bloodstream faster than it can be removed. This determines the percentage of VO2 max that an individual can use. The lactate threshold is reached at the point lactate accumulation starts to increase exponentially. OBLA occurs when the blood lactate levels reach 4 millimoles per litre. If two different people have the same VO2 max, i.e. their uptake of oxygen is exactly the same, the one with the higher lactate threshold will perform better in continuous endurance events, as they will fatigue later. The respiratory exchange ratio, or RER, is the ratio between the amount of carbon dioxide produced and oxygen that is used. It can be used to show which energy source is predominantly being burnt as fuel 
and if an individual is reaching their aerobic limit. An RER value of 1 or above suggests carbohydrates as the predominant fuel. A reading of around 0.7 suggests fat is the predominant fuel. And a reading of 0.85 suggests a mixture of carbohydrates and fat are being used. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please help others find our videos and hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to also visit our website www.sportsciencehub.com for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science. See you soon.